Hi everyone, Anora here, and we are going to do some strength exercises uh, that incorporate both a arm and a leg in every move. I'm only using one pair of eight pound dum dumbbells throughout the whole set. So something really easy, simple that you can do at home if you just have one set of dumbbells. So here we go. So I have my little mat. Okay, first one we're gonna do, suitcase squat. So it's like you're holding two bags to your side. Squat down, remember weight in your heels. And they're gonna come up to a front raise. So you come down, come up, front raise. Just a shoulder height. Down, come up, front raise. Now I'm gonna show you the side. So here, I come down, come up, Front raise. Down. That's four. Five. Keep it going. Six. Seven. My chest is staying nice and high. Last one. Good. To make a little bit more difficult of a workout, make everything 12 to 15 reps instead of the, just the 10. Okay? Next one we're going to do, we're going to balance our leg out. Okay? So you're going to go one leg, curl, press. Curl your weights up, press. So this isn't technically a leg movement, but it's a stability. So you're going to be working your core, and you're working some of those leg muscles to stabilize that leg. Good. And see I'm curling all the way up, pressing up high. Whoop. Catch your balance, and then start again. And remember, when you're doing a bicep curl, so from the side, See how my elbows are in front? They are not behind. If they're behind, it becomes a shoulder. We don't want shoulders, we want biceps, right? We want that gun. Good. Give me one more. Perfect. Okay. So the next round, you would switch legs. All right? Next one we're going to do, deadlift to a chest raise. So, I'm going to go here, chest row, let's call it different things. I'm going to come down, deadlift, so my back's super flat, my knees are only slightly bent, weight's about shin height, okay? From here, weight to the side of my chest, back down and up, okay? Two, from the side, now we're deadlift, my back is flat the whole time. almost like you're sticking your chest out. Keep that core engaged. Good. Nice. Okay. Next one we're going to do we're going to do a rocket position, kick back. So what this is going to do, whatever leg you had out balancing, what other leg was supporting, that one's going to be the one in front, okay? So you're going to be here and get into this position just like this. So my knee is right over my ankle. I'm not forward, okay? And then see how my heel hips, shoulders, and head are all aligned, okay? Keep my arms up nice and high, kick them back. Don't let your elbows drop. Good. 
Good. Again, you'll switch legs. Okay? Next one I want to do, we're going to do a row, okay, and a sumo squat. So you're going to be here, nice and wide. So you're way base sumo, toes pointed out. Here, I'm going to row, single arms. Row it back, row it back. So I'm squeezing my one shoulder blade in, in. Good. I'm going to show you from the side and also from the back. This one will be 10 each arm. From the back. See how you can see my shoulder blade squeezing? All right, one more time from the front. Okay, last one. You ready? We're gonna do an honor curl. Okay, so that's just like this with a lunge. Okay, so you're gonna do a back lunge. So I'm gonna face forward. So I'm gonna take a step forward here. So I'm gonna do a reverse lunge. Okay, honor curl. A little bit more balancey. See how I have to stabilize with my core. Got to show you from the side. So remember with our lunges, see 90-90. dumbbells, very little space needed, make it tougher between each round, give me 25 jumping jacks, okay, total of four rounds, four times through that, and remember you can bump up the reps as many as you can, okay, have a good one guys.